Hi, I'm Sophia Parafina. I'm currently a um, developer advocate for AWS. This is work I did as a developer advocate for Here Technologies. So what we did was look at the global impact of COVID and overall road traffic. As you know, hello. Is it this one? Ah. Okay, so where the data came from, data here, traffic analytics, there's actually, I wrote a blog post on how to get that. Um, so if you're interested, that's the URL. Um, the data itself came from GIS, GPS probe data from 100 plus you know, providers. Um, it's a lot of data, the, at least several terabytes of data that I analyzed for this. The data itself is averaged over a five minute increments and provides standard deviation, free flow speed, and uncongested traffic um, flows. So one of the things we do is calculate congestion, which is used for road, um, basically road planning. So one minus the current speed and free flow speed. So if you want to translate that into a realistic measure, if you take 10 minutes and, um, to arrive to a destination and you have a 0.3 um, congestion, that's X, adds an extra three minutes to your uh, travel time. So we took data from across the world, USA, Singapore, India, Australia, UK, Germany, and France, unfortunately, no access to data. China, which would have been very interesting, as well as Japan. Um, we had talked the top 10 cities from each um, country, um, but this particular um, talk, we just compare, I just compared to the two largest cities with the two smallest cities available. Open source tools, typically Jupyter, Pandas, Matplotlib. Live. If you want to make maps, I actually wrote a whole blog post on how to map the traffic congestion there as well. And I'll have a URL where you can find all these articles I've written. Um, so let's take a look at the graphs itself. So for in the um, Western countries, it's a very typical type of pattern where you see an amazing drop on April of um, 2020. And then you see, anecdotally, you see drops occurring because of winter COVID and um, other types of uh, interventions. So very similar for US traffic congestion. Uh, let's see, oops. Hello. Oh, okay. So let's look at India traffic congestion here. Um, it's very different um, patterns you can see with Delhi and, um, Delhi and Jaipur. Again, you have a corresponding increase, which means that COVID wasn't affecting it. So we're starting to see some regional differences um, in different cities, and this could be attributed to transportation networks, um, COVID response overall, um, but then we also have some discontinuous data there for Delhi as well. So Singapore, um, very similar type of thing where you see a, a massive drop in May, sort of a delayed response in comparison to some of the Western countries, and again, um, overall. What, do you, what we're seeing, though, is a decrease overall in traffic congestion. This is for a 24-hour period. Obviously, in many countries, you're going to have, um, if you do it or during, during the rush hour periods, you'll have much higher traffic congestion. So that's why the scales tends to be fairly low. Similarly, um, Australia has a large drop, but then what's most interesting is that both Perth and Brisbane um, have an increase in traffic flow and actually have a higher traffic flow than they started with. So we, it's interesting to see what, um, what are the effects or what caused those types of uh, effects on traffic. And UK, again, mostly Western pattern, you see a massive drop and then basically all the cities kind of track in the same direction and you'll see the same pattern for both Germany and as well as France. Um, again, you'll see the seasonal, um, you know, sort of seasonal impact of COVID at different times. Great. So to um, wrap up, when I looked at it, it actually just led to more questions. So yes, there's de probably definitely a correlation between COVID searches and traffic congestion, but however, there are differences in these congestion patterns between different regions. This again could be done by any number of different factors and also especially in the type of response that governments have. So um, again, I had five minutes or four minutes to do this, so um, there's a definitely much more information that's available. So if you um, find me on Twitter um, or on LinkedIn, and most of the things I write on is an authory with my name on it, and I'll also make this data available on GitHub. And that's my presentation.